Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November monthly setup, which I've actually never done one of these. Um, this isn't budget related at all. This is more on the planning side, but um, if you guys are curious, I do plan in my monthly view, um, but I just have never filmed it um so I'm gonna do that today and I'm really excited about it because I also get to use some of my stickers as well as some new stickers that will be coming out this Saturday for new releases so I'm gonna try to kind of incorporate these kinds of videos especially because I want you guys to see how I use my stickers personally because I feel like sometimes especially for people that are just getting into planning it can be kind of confusing and especially like when I'm releasing stuff you guys probably are thinking like how can I use that what can that be used for so I want to go ahead and use my own stuff so you guys can kind of get an idea and see what I kind of have everything intended to be used as so all of these stickers you see here are from my Etsy shop which is the planning dancer any other stickers that I use I will mention where they're from because I have already pulled out like all these stickers which I will be using and I have some other leftovers that are just from my collection so I will let you all know but um, before we get into that um, ignore the print job on this um, that's why I'm using it because my printer um, was running out of ink but it's completely fine for me um, but these will both be released in my shop on Saturday so if you're looking for these and you don't see them up that is why um, they will be part of my new releases which you will see me mark here shortly so let's just get right into it because I don't want to take too too long and I feel like this is going to take long because usually um, I do not film this and I kind of just do this on my own and I usually take my time so I'm just gonna wipe this out because I don't know how much of that might show and I don't want it to show so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take this sticker sheet here which is missing two um, strips and that's because I use those over in my budget planner so if you haven't watched that video yet you definitely should. So I'm just going to take, actually I need to take these thinner ones first. So I'm going to take this and line it up right again. So I took that piece and lined it right up against the boxes, which I kind of didn't lay down straight. So I'm going to fix that. And then I can go ahead and lay the thicker piece right on top, which is kind of hard to do sitting like at the angle that I'm sitting at but that's okay so there's that and then I am going to do the same thing on the other side so these two strips are um, a little bit different of color which is fine They do still match. And then I'm going to take my washi ruler that has been collecting washi for years at this point. And then I am just going to save this little piece in case I need it later. And then we're going to take this one and lay that there. And 
and then even though these are stickers um, you can still usually cut them with a any like straight edge um, it won't cut as perfectly as if you were to use like an exacto knife or anything but I did forget to bring mine in here so we're just gonna do that and now I'm gonna take this sheet which is the monthly script sheet and I'm going to take the November script and pop it up here and then I'm gonna take the days which you can pick whatever day you want to start on so if you want a Monday start that's completely up to you I don't mind a Sunday start so I'm just gonna leave it as is and just add all my days on to here which I will speed through me putting down the days as well as the date dots and then I will be right back Okay, so I went ahead and put down all my date dots and all of these little things. So all the little things are from the Planner Shack and then all these little check boxes are from Planner Pixie Co. Both of those are just from leftover kits that I've had and I use all of those to mark my videos, which I know this looks like a lot, but now you guys see. <laughs> How many videos I really do put up a month and there might be more this is just what I have planned out for now but now we can go ahead and get right into the day-by-day -day planning which I'm really excited about so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just start on the first and work my way down so the only thing I had to mark on the first is daylight savings time ending, which my planner does have there for me. Um, and I'm just pulling in this half box from Planner Pixie Co. And I have a script sticker from the Happy Planner that I will be putting in here which I know doesn't fit the most ideal way but that is fine by me so we're just gonna do that and then we move on to Tuesday I mean Tuesday Monday the second which I have two things I want to mark in a very not so big space so I'm just gonna use the smallest labels on top of both the appointment label sheet as well as the just label sheet so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this beige one here and then I'm gonna use the like yellowish color which I should actually put this way so the first thing I want to mark is that the planning roses planner launched this day which I'm using 
this little planner sticker just from my collection. Um, I believe that's from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And then the other thing I want to mark is that it was Day of the Dead. So I'm going to put in this little skull with roses that's just a leftover from Planner Pixie Co. the kit that I used last week. So that is it for Monday. So then moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I want to put in is payday because I do get paid from Etsy on Tuesdays. This payday sticker is extremely old. It's from Libby and Co. And then the other thing I want to mark is that it was election day, which is very, very important. So I'm going to use this orange label. And then I do have an election day script, which is also from Happy Planner. So I'm just going to put that there. And obviously that's all I can fit for Tuesday. I hope that this is okay. Sorry if the lighting's a little weird. Um, and then for Wednesday, I have... Well, I had because it already is Thursday. Um, but on Wednesday, yesterday, I had to register for classes. So I'm going to take this appointment label and I'm actually going to put it this way. And then... Since that is the only thing I have to mark on Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and cover the little appointment area with the book, but I will go ahead and write in the time there, which it was at 8.30 p.m. when I got to register. So that is that. And then on today, I don't have anything to mark. So I'm going to move over to Friday and it is George's little brother's birthday. So his name is Diego and it is his 11th birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So I'm just using a label and then I do have these. birthday scripts from the happy planner which are quite large not gonna lie but that's okay and then on saturday is new releases in my shop which i'm really excited about as i'm sure you can tell because i have these beautiful stickers that i'm releasing which is so exciting so I'm going to go ahead and put this down and I have two options for new releases but I think I'm going to use this sticker here which is from Planner Pixie Co. No, no, no. It's from the Planner Shack. I'm sorry. There is that. And then that is it for the first week. So now we're moving on to Sunday the 8th which every single month I like to mark when Violet turns like whatever a year and whatever months or you know what I mean so on Sunday the 8th Violet will be a year and seven months so a little over a year and a half just craziness so I'm just gonna take this little Frenchie sticker from planning roses and then on Monday the 9th I have two things to mark so one is that I want to keep an eye out I haven't decided for sure yet but I am thinking about getting or 
I don't know what the word right word would be I guess signing up um to get the scribble prints co like mystery monthly if you aren't into planning you're probably like girl what are you talking about but basically she has like a subscription kind of thing um where you can get stickers once a month so this is the day that spots open so i'm kind of just gonna keep an eye out and see what i think um so there's that and then the other thing i have to mark is that it is my older sister's birthday so sadly i don't have a big space to mark that but i am just gonna use this small label and then i will put in a little cake icon that i have which this icon is from Livy & Co. Once again, it's a really, really old sticker, so I don't even know if she still sells those. Um, but that was for my sister's birthday. And then on the 10th, once again, it's a Tuesday, so I'm going to put in payday up top. And then what do I have to mark? Oh, very, very exciting thing so Tuesday does mark my one year anniversary of my shop kind of um I have had my shop for quite a while but this was the first time I have ever gotten an order so I am gonna mark that well which I need to use one of these because I am gonna have a sale in my shop going on all next week which this is not going down as I wanted to so I need to fix that gonna do that and then the sale will run until Friday so I have to mark that so I'm gonna take another one of these and just keep running it along these next couple of days so I know that that will be happening I mean, I know, but just to remind me what days. So to mark my one year anniversary, I do have this anniversary script from Happy Planner. And I do have these little balloons from the Planner Shack. So I'm just gonna put the balloons down and then I will put the anniversary script down here and then up top I will write either Etsy shop or the planning dancer whatever I can fit but that is that and then on Wednesday I have a lot to mark and I don't know how I'm gonna fit it so I do have a bill due this day, so I'm gonna take a bill due, which is from my shop once again. And maybe I should take a brown because I feel like I'm not using that much brown, which I know this is gonna take up like a lot of the box, but that's okay. And then I wanted to mark that it is Veterans Day, so I'm gonna do that, which, this is probably gonna cover up the washi for the most part, but that's okay. I can still see it and I know that it's there. And then once again, I have a script from the Happy Planner. And then I did wanna mark that I didn't, I didn't. It's not, I'm not in the future guys, but apparently I think I am. Um that I don't have school this day because it is Veterans Day. So I'm gonna put 
down this little day off sticker which I know this is like so chaotic and I'm so sorry if that is bothering you but also like I just want to mark everything so that's that and then next on the 12th I have another bill due so I'm just gonna take the beige color which this is the only thing I have to mark this day so that's good because Lord knows I don't have space for anything else and then these next couple of days I don't have anything to mark actually this whole next week I don't have anything to mark which does not mean there's nothing going on I just don't have anything as of this second but yeah that's that and then actually I do have to mark payday on Tuesday so let's do that and then let's see then I can mark payday on the other Tuesday And now we are on to Wednesday the 25th, which is when I get on fall break or whatever you want to call it, Thanksgiving break. We do only get um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so there's that. Um, so I'm going to take this strip again, which I'm just going to take it, um, I guess, along the bottom and cut this. then um I will just have the box on Wednesday because I will kind of know that it connects to that I'll try to use a similar color there and then I'm gonna put down this little foiled book sticker which is from the happy planner and I'll just mark no school or fall break or whatever um so there's that and then another thing I want to mark is obviously this is Thanksgiving this is Black Friday small business Saturday and Cyber Monday so that's a lot um as well as my family is leaving for Thanksgiving so I wanted to mark that but you guys, I think I was being too ambitious, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mark Thanksgiving first because it is a smaller script. So this script again is from the Happy Planner. And I'm going to do that. So that's Thanksgiving. And then... Black Friday, I will just mark with an appointment label because I have them. So I'm going to use the brown color. So here, I'll put it this way. Which again, ignore the print job. And then I have this little shopping bag sticker, which is from Libby & Co. once again. And then on Saturday, I need to mark giving Violet her flea medication. So I'm going to just mark that at the bottom of the day with an appointment label and a little paw print Sticker, which I believe this is from Planner Pixie Co. And I guess I'm just not going to mark my family leaving. I mean, I know they're leaving on Thursday morning. So 
I mean, I could squeeze it in there, but I don't know if I should. Hmm. Maybe I should. Let's see. Let's lift this little shopping bag. And then I gotta stand up for this. Can't see what I'm trying to do. So we'll do that. I know this is like actually probably the most chaotic thing you've ever seen but i mean this is my life so i'm just gonna put this down maybe i don't want it to cover the script as well as the date dot so i'm gonna kind of do this. Do that and do that. And then I do have a little plane sticker because my family is going to be going on a plane, which I don't know how I feel about this plane, but that's fine. Um, but yes, they are coming back on Saturday, so I'll just mark there and then the little plane is over there when they come back. And I did want to mark small business Saturday, so I'm going to take this little label and I have this little computer icon from Planning Roses, I believe, which is also a really, really old sticker, so I don't think she has those icons anymore. Um, but, yeah. And then, on Monday, it's Cyber Monday, so I want to mark that, which, luckily, Monday doesn't have much going on, so I can actually take a bigger box and mark that so I have a little laptop sticker here from planting roses and that is really it um I sadly didn't get to mark that I will be having a sale in my shop from Thursday to Monday but I mean I know that so maybe it's okay um but I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, here it is all filled out. I know it's pretty chaotic and hectic, but that's just the definition of my life. So <laughs> I hope this gives you a good representation of what my month is going to look like. And I might not make it through, but at least you knew what I had planned. <laughs> But anyways, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also leave me comments down below if this is something you want to see monthly because I really enjoyed it and I do it anyway. So might as well film it for you all if you do enjoy it. So please let me know. I can kind of try to show you the little bit of foil that I do have. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.